pretty much kind of run the place, <laughs> make sure it goes. We got started in 1973. Actually, we started a little bit before that because when um, Ron bought eight wooden wall phones and uh, he spent our savings and I said, you got to get sell those, get rid of them. And so he did through the antique trader. He, he remembered where uh, there were a bunch of phones in Turtle Lake. And so we're not that far away. So he um, went up there and after he sold the phones, he bought some more phones. And then he bought some more phones. And then, you know, many, many, many trips. <laughs> so he ended up uh, quitting his teaching job, which was in 1973. And uh, we went full time. We, at that time, we lived in Melrose. Um, he had taught 12 years before that. So, um, yeah, I always say we started out with going up with a station wagon, and then, then we added a trailer on behind that, and, and then we got a van and added a trailer on behind that, and, pretty, and then a semi-tractor. So, yeah, got bigger and bigger loads that we brought. So we outgrew our little carriage barn in Melrose, and we looked for a place, and we ended up with the five acres, and we call it the farm. And we worked out of the barns for quite a few years until um, we bought this just for storage. And then we were kind of getting crowded out there, and we thought, well, we can move in here because it has everything we need. You know, it had, had a paint booth, and it had um, offices and enough room. So that's where we are. We got people do different things, work on different phones. Um, some people only work on pay phones, and some people work on the Bakelites and the plastics. So yeah, we've we've done um, lots of movies. Uh, we've done lots of plays, uh, lots of productions, um, and we've even done um, advertising. <laughs> sent phones to an advertiser who was doing an advertisement. Uh, we sold a, about 150 black phones, desk phones, called the 500 set, to another company out in Canada. They were doing a, a motel on the John F. Kennedy airstrip. And um, I don't know if they got them all done or not, but we sold them those um, about a year ago. And, they were going to hook. They were going to um, fix them all up and then put one in every room. So it was kind of neat to do that. So I don't know. You, you know, you, you, it's a daily, it's just a daily thing. You know, you <laughs> every day, just about you do the same thing and go to work and and um, you just do what you have to do and you forget about <laughs> everything. <laughs> I guess one of the most rewarding things is, is having um, good employees, you know, nice employees that are, find the business interesting enough that they work for us. <laughs> you know, we had phones and uh, fried green tomatoes and British and Madison County, yeah. Um, I, don't watch, I don't watch that much TV, so I don't see them, but I know people who collect phones or who, or even our employees, if they happen to see it, they'll, they'll say, oh, there's our phone, there's, a, you know, there's a the phone we work on. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's 83 and I'm five or six years behind that, so, but, yeah, you know, we would, we would like to get rid of it and sell it, sell the building. We may reduce our inventory and, and move back to the barn, too. You know, where it would be a little handier for us.